Hello everyone, in this prediction video for the 2024 election, we have President Joe Biden up against Governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. So I haven't done one of this prediction type in a while between these two candidates, and we're just going to get right into this. So again, I think DeSantis is just weaker than Trump in the general election at this point. I mean, poll after poll confirms it, especially in the Rust Belt, which is showing that uh, it leans towards Trump. But with DeSantis, it leans towards Biden, or it's like a much, much closer race. So, again, DeSantis, he's doing worse with populist Republicans. But uh, there's some states he would do better than Trump, I would believe, especially in the Sun Belt. I think he could do a bit better in certain states. Not Georgia, though. Strangely, DeSantis does quite poorly in Georgia compared to Trump, even losing the state to Biden in some polls. Uh, but before we get into this video, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, you should totally do so, because I just do political content like this all the time, and if you like that type of stuff, then uh, this channel's totally for you. But uh, let's get right into this video. So the first few states, states Colorado, just a progressive-leaning state. It's just shifting blue at a very fast rate. I don't think DeSantis could crack it down below 10, especially with his over overt focus and calling things woke all the time. <clears throat> that's not going to help him in the state of Colorado at all. In Iowa and Ohio, he's not going to win them by safe margins, but he will win them by at least likely ones. I mean, I don't see these states shifting towards the Democrats, even though DeSantis is less populous than Trump. I just think the Republican trends here are too hard to break in both of these states. I think most Republicans would still be able to win them by likely Republican margins. Even Iowa can be won by a safe Republican at this point. Democrats really aren't going to contest these states either. In Florida, I was debating about making this a safe Republican state. But then again, DeSantis, <clears throat> he doesn't really lead by over 10 in the polls as much anymore. So I think he would win by about 8 points in the state of Florida. Just like a pretty solid margin of victory, but not a safe one. Texas as well, it's just because Biden's an old and generally seen as weak candidate that he won't make Texas competitive. If you run a generic Democrat against DeSantis here, they could get it down to a lean Republican margin in Texas. Kind of same thing with Trump. But, again, Biden's just a more weak candidate for the state of Texas. I don't think he'll be able to get the right turnout here. He's doing worse with minority voters, especially Latinos and African Americans. So I have this as a likely Republican state. So the likely blue ones, New Mexico, Virginia, Minnesota, I don't see DeSantis making any of these three states competitive at all. I don't think his shift on becoming more right-wing than Trump is really going to help him in these states, only going to hurt him. In Nebraska's second, I would just put it as about, hmm, debating about likely blue or lean blue. Again, I could see DeSantis do a tiny bit better in the suburbs, I'm going to put it down as a lean blue district for now. Probably a four-point Biden win. The state of Alaska, it's mainly due to ranked choice voting, but I think it's going to put Alaska in most predictions likely Republican, because I forgot to factor in the ranked choice voting in the state. Alaska and Maine both have that for uh, presidential elections, I'm pretty sure. So, again, third parties, they'll probably more go to the Democratic side, especially if um, Cornel West and Jill Stein get on the ballot. I think they would rank their second choice as Biden. <laughs> So I could see Biden making Alaska as a likely Republican state in most predictions from now on, <clears throat> just due to ranked choice voting. The state of Maine, DeSantis, it was just, his messaging would be toxic in this state. He's way too right-wing for the state to be competitive. He'd only even win <clears throat> Maine second by a lean Republican margin. So, again, he's pretty much a uniquely bad candidate for the state of Maine. And neighboring New Hampshire as well. He could even lose it by a safe blue margin against Biden. Some polls have shown up, but I'm going to be cautious and put it as likely blue. I don't think it would be a blowout here for Biden, but some polls seem to suggest that in this state. It's really turning more and more left. We could even see it trend more left in the 2024 election than it was in 2020, which is interesting. The state is just turning against Republicans at a very fast rate. I mean, New England overall is just shifting against Republicans. Nearly all the, I'm pretty sure all the House districts in New England are Democratic. Yeah, they are. So, <clears throat> let's keep on going with this video. The state of North Carolina, I think most Republicans still be able to win here, even though DeSantis is a bit of a weaker candidate. They'll be able to get a victory here. However, in Georgia, 
Most polls actually show Biden with a tilt lead, and I believe it. DeSantis has done a lot to anger black voters, so they would have a reason to turn out against him. So I have the state as a tilt blue uh, state right now against uh, DeSantis. The state of Arizona, however, I think DeSantis could be a bit stronger in this state especially because Trump has done a lot to anger McCain Republicans in this state. Similar to how Kerry Lake angered McCain Republicans by getting them kicked out the room or yelling at them to leave. <laughs> so, again, DeSantis, as long as he doesn't anger them, I think actually think he could win them over and do better than Trump in the state of Arizona. He's just less toxic than the Trump brand here. So I have this as a tilt Republican state. A state of Nevada, however, with DeSantis' messaging on abortion. And Nevada being a very pro-choice state, I see Biden taking a narrow victory here, even though some most polls suggest Biden will lose it against most Republicans. I just think Nevada is a more pro-choice state, and I just think Nevada polls typically overestimate Republican support. So I think this will be a tilt blue state. And we come down to the Rust Belt. So DeSantis needs to win two of these states to win the election. And I don't think he's favored in either of them. I don't think he's favored in Michigan. I think Biden would still get a victory here. Same with Pennsylvania by a tilt blue margin and Wisconsin. It's mainly due to populist voters. I really <clears throat> think DeSantis will have a tough time turning out populist Republicans here. He doesn't have that Trump factor that would excite voters here. The polls show it. He's performing worse than Trump in all three of these states. So I think all three of these states are quite favored for Biden to win. But again, there's a lot of tilt states here. There's about five of them on this map. So really, all DeSantis has to do is win Georgia, Nevada. Well, let's factor Nevada out of this because that really wouldn't make a difference. So let's say he wins Georgia. That's the most likely path of victory. He would need a win in Pennsylvania or Wisconsin. Wisconsin is probably more likely because it's a more rural state. But he could always just follow it up with a victory in Pennsylvania instead. So even if Biden wins Wisconsin, if he wins PA, he wins the election. But right now, I don't think that's going to happen. I think DeSantis is weaker than Trump, and the polls pretty much show that. So that's the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. And if you disagree with this video, let me know in the comments below. Always interested in your feedback. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.